In Hong Kong, pro-democracy activists are making it clear they'll do everything possible to disrupt celebrations to mark the 70th anniversary of Chinese communist rule. On the eve of commemorations, city streets have been ablaze as hundreds clashed with riot police. Authorities pushed back protesters with tear gas and a water cannon, firing powerful jets of blue-coloured water. Hardcore activists vandalised signs promoting official Chinese celebrations and also set fire to rubbish bins in train stations, restricting movement in the former British colony. Dozens of people have been arrested. The ABC's Greg Jennett has been on the streets of Hong Kong. The sign said 70th anniversary, or at least it used to. To the chance of the matting crowd, he stripped it bare and torched it for maximum effect. Control? There was none. But after a while, police tried to restore it. We've got officers with pepper spray at the back of the pack, and not for the first time. They've moved in today to try and clear this area up. There are still hundreds of thousands of people down here. And yes, the tear gas is ready. Confrontation is happening right here, right now. <laughs> Behind plate glass up market shoppers took it all in from the mall. Try as they might, the gas was useless. Soon the police left, casualties were treated. But no amount of tear gas fire, and there was plenty of it, would repel them. They advanced, police retreated, jumped in their vans and left. Only to come at the mob again outside government headquarters. Be water is the movement's motto, and they wore the colours of a blue rinsed bowl until the force came back at the protesters. Police have now advanced on foot, and it has worked in pushing people back a couple of hundred metres or so. The gas was so thick it was sickening, but it's an ill wind that blows nobody any good and a break was about to come for police. All right, well, they're going for second time lucky, the police. They're back in exactly the same position we were more than an hour ago. Back then, they were forced into retreat. This time, at least for the moment, they are having some success. There was a resolve about this night and there are people who'll pay a price for a very long time. At least a dozen were arrested and the motivation, surely, was spurred by what's to come on Tuesday, China's anniversary of communist rule and a burning desire here to dishonour it. So the protesters then dispersed down Hennessy Road, a main thoroughfare in Hong Kong. ABC correspondent Catherine Dis followed the protesters as they scattered through the city. After quite a heated skirmish early in the evening down at Admiralty, which is where the government buildings are housed, uh, we expected the protesters to disperse fairly quickly. A tear gas and, and water cannon was used on them then, but it wasn't to be. They moved into Wan Chai and started setting fires down Hennessy Road, which is one of the major roads in Hong Kong. Then police used the, the water cannon to be able to put out those fires. But as we walked with the protesters, we noticed the trail of destruction that's populated by tourists and travellers. And as you can see behind me, this is one of the metro stations that they've trashed tonight. And this isn't the only one that they have destroyed or, or damaged. They've set a fire outside of it. Uh, they've pushed over rubbish bins. They've set rubbish on fire. They certainly have left their mark on Hong Kong tonight.